going to show you how to do these really cool gradient nails. Gradient means when you go from a darker color to a lighter color. So here you can see my nails have like a very dark tip and then they go to a lighter blue color. And they also have some really cool shimmery sparkly stuff on the front. So yeah, I think they look really fun. Um, this is actually very easy to do. You just maybe need a little bit of time for this. I'm going to show you the technique. This is using a sponging method. So I'll show you how to do that. Now before I get started, I'll just quickly show you the nail polish I use. Again, you don't have to use the exact same colors. You can do this in any color that you want. You can just use, you know, the nail polishes that you already have. So the first one that I used for the base color is this light blue. And this is by Elamasca and it's called Caress. The next color is also by Ella Masca and it's a medium purple shade and it's called Jomina. Then I used a shimmery purple. So you can see it here. It has kind of like these glass flecks. It's actually a really cool color. This is Grape Juice by China Glaze. I used a navy blue with like a nice shine to it. This is by Maybelline and it's called Blue Sapphire. I used another polish by Zoya. Um, there you can see it. This is a really cool color. This is one of my favorite polishes. This is called Katori and it's like a blue, like a black and blue and it just has tons of shimmer inside. And lastly for the glitter effect I used this one. The brand is called Essence and this is in 03 Collide. So it just has like little shimmery um, sparkles in it. So yeah, I'm going to, you know, show you how to do this. You don't need to use as many polishes as I'm using, um, but I think it just makes a really nice effect. So yeah, if you want to see how to do it, then just keep watching. So I'm starting off the basic blue manicure using the first color and I've just taped off my cuticles just with some regular tape. This is just going to help for the cleanup. And you're going to need a cosmetic sponge for this, so you can get this at any pharmacy. So I'm starting off with the first color, that first sort of medium purple color by Elamasca, and I'm just painting it directly onto the sponge. And um, this is going to be the first color that you're going to put down. So you want to start sponging it, and how you start sponging is you just press lightly on, and you remember that the harder you press, the more opaque the color is going to be. So you're going to be pressing a bit harder on the tip of your nails, and then as you get to the base of your nails, you're going to press a bit more lightly. So that's going to start to create this gradient effect. Um, where the color is sort of more opaque on the tip and then it work as you work down you want to just press a little bit lighter and you're going to get sort of a lighter purple. You can also put the nail polish on a plate, like a plastic plate, and then dip your sponge into it. That might be a little bit easier for some people and you're you know you're gonna have to go back a couple times, get some more polish and do I guess a few layers of the color. So now I'm going to use the second color, this is like that shimmery purple color, and I'm just going to layer this over the first color that I applied. And as you can see, this kind of gives like a really nice sort of shimmery purple effect, because it has little shimmer particles in it. And here you can see how I'm doing my thumb. So your thumb is the largest space, so you just need to take your time with that a bit more. So then I'm using the next color, which is that dark blue. Now you want to be a little bit careful when you use the darker colors because if you, you know, if you put too much on, then it can just kind of sometimes overpower the look. So just, just be a little bit careful and apply the most of it on the tips of the nails and then work your way down very lightly. So here I'm using the last, um, that blue color by Zoya, this is Katori, and um, this is just gives like a really nice blue shimmer effect, even though I've already applied a blue. This one's sort of more a sheer color, but it has like a really nice shimmer, so I'm applying that over the dark blue, and that's just going to also help to blend together with the different colors, so there you can see what it looks like. And yeah, then I'm going to take the next color. This is the Glitter Polish by Essence. And I find this works easier if you just paint it directly onto your sponge because if you put it into the plate, it sometimes doesn't pick up the particles very well. So yeah, this is just like a clear color and then it has like blue glitter in it. So you just wanna layer that right on the top of the nail and that just gives like a really pretty effect. There you can kind of see what it looks like. 
So for this one, I felt I had to do a couple layers for the glitter to really stick. Um, here you can see it again on my thumb. And um, yeah, this glitter polish just gives like a really, really pretty look. And I think it just makes it look a bit more fun and sparkly. <laughs> So here I'm doing a second layer of the glitter polish and I'm focusing this really just on the tops of the nail. So there you can see it. And then you just want to follow it with a really good quality top coat. You want to make sure that you get one that doesn't, you know, streak all the colors together. So the one I'm using is by Sesh Beat and that's just my favorite top coat. I've always used it. Um, I totally recommend that one if, you, if you're not using a very good top coat then definitely check out that one by Sesh Beat. And then you're going to lastly just remove the tape and then you'll, you're going to see why I did that because um, putting that tape down means that there's no cleanup to be done. So there you can see the finished nails once all the tape is removed. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to check out my tutorial, my nail tutorial playlist if you want to see more nail tutorials from myself. And thanks so, so much for watching guys. I'll see you soon. Bye!